The beauty is unparalleled. The fun, unfiltered. It's Pebble Beach Week. Welcome to the latest edition of PGA Tour Today. The game's best hook up with the entertainment world's brightest in a magnificent setting at the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am. Well, hi everybody, I'm John Swantek. 156 PGA Tour players Share the spotlight this week with 156 amateur partners featuring some of Pebble Beach's celebrity mainstays. For years, funny men like Bill Murray, Ray Romano, and George Lopez have been injecting this tournament with a one-of-a-kind vibe. And this week, a strong field of PGA Tour stars will join them, competing over four days on three different courses. The host course, Pebble Beach, which is also this June's U.S. Open venue, along with Spyglass Hill, and Monterey Peninsula Country Club, which returns to the rotation for the first time since 1977. That's where world number three Phil Mickelson gets his week going on Thursday at 8.11 a.m. local time. Lefty, a two-time champ at Pebble Beach, finished 45th in his bid for the three-peat at Riviera last week. Also playing in Monterey in the same group on day one, two of the game's brightest young stars, Ricky Fowler and Japan's Ryo Ishikawa, off at 8.33 a.m. Pacific time. There are six past champions in the field, including Davis Love III, a two-time winner who owns seven top ten finishes in 23 career starts at Pebble Beach. Love will be followed on the Monterey Peninsula course by Sergio Garcia. The Spaniard makes his 2010 PGA Tour debut at 9.50 a.m. local time. It's Sergio's first start in the tournament since 2001. Fellow international stars Retief Goosen and Padraig Harrington play their opening round together on Spyglass at 8.55 a.m. The Irishman missed the cut at the Northern Trust Open in his season debut last week. The Goose has a couple of top six finishes this year and was third here at Pebble last year behind Dustin Johnson, the defending champion who goes off at 9.50 a.m. Pacific time on Pebble Beach. And by the way, this year marks the 25th anniversary of AT&T's sponsorship of the tournament, which dates back to 1937 when Sam Snead took the title. Now, if I was looking to take a free swing, I'd say that Bob Stevens from the PGA Tour Network covered Snead's victory in 1937. But I wouldn't do that. Bob? The legendary Bay Area sports writer Art Spander once said that the weather here at Pebble Beach can be as nasty as a cocktail waitress in a dockside bar. Of course, last year, that proved to be true, as it is eh, fairly often here at Pebble Beach. So far, so good in this edition of the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am. A lot of rain last week, a lot of rain early this week, even rain on Tuesday. Wednesday was good, Thursday's supposed to be pretty good, Friday a little dicey, but then great for the week. Weekend. It's going to be good weather. This weather even, some overcast, but no wind coming in off the Pacific is something these players have told me they would sign up for right now. Four days of that. Should be a lot of fun. We invite you to watch us and join us and listen to us for first round coverage here on the PGA Tour Network, Sirius 209 and XM 146 beginning at noon Eastern. All right, thank you, Bob. In addition to Sirius XM radio coverage, which can also be heard here at PGA Tour.com, Golf Channel has opening round coverage from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern.